Yo, what is good everyone? Welcome back to GeoGuessr Explained and welcome to Russia Bootcamp Week. So, more than a week. We're doing 10 days with Finbar, the uh, the legendary Russia player, and he's actually on call <laughs> right now. How are you, Finbar? Hello. Uh, hi, Chad. I'm Oscar. I'm doing good. How are you? I am... I'm actually really well. I'm actually really well. Um, so, yeah, we've got 10 days of big Russia grind set out for me here. Um, Russia is not a weakness, but certainly not a strength for me, and I want to make it a strength. I want people to fear me on Russia, to think I'll always know that it, where it is, even if I don't actually know that. Um, and, yeah, we've got 10 days of what Russia lessons planned out so that that will become the case. And so uh, there will be updates on my ZigZag Clips channel about how the practice is going, and probably some of the practices will end up on here as well. And uh, Finbar will also uh, end up in some of the streams and videos I make about this throughout the 10 days as well. Uh, so yeah, it's just pretty exciting. We're going to see, you know, what I can really manage in this, in this time. And uh, yeah, like, uh, why don't you run through the schedule you've made here, uh, Finbar, and uh, tell us what you're thinking about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, a bunch of maps here. Uh, I'm very, I picked like the more important like areas, because obviously there's a lot like, you could do maps for everything in Russia. But these are like the more like, it's a lot more about like, the easy to identify stuff, but hard to region guess a lot of the time. Because, like, when you know it's east, like, you know it's east, but, like, region guessing the east is, like, the harder bit of that. So there's a map for that. And then there's a lot of, like, the big northern oblasts, which are, like, you know, thousands of kilometers in size. So uh, there's a lot of that. And then antennas, you need to, you know, make sure you know all the antennas. And, yeah, that's basically it, just the important stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. absolutely yeah i'm looking at like amur primorsky 20 plus street goal that that's definitely something that <laughs> would be good to get down because you know it does happen that i send the wrong one it definitely does um yeah so yeah i mean yeah it should be really fun um we've also filmed a video which i'll have in the description uh or if not we'll be you know you'll, there'll be a link to finn's channel inside the description so you can go check out finbar's channel where we did one vs ones on russia to kind of test out my skills i'll also play a bit of russia here and kind of uh you know finbar's gonna have to go in a minute but i'll just kind of run through my thought process so you guys can see how i'm thinking about things now hopefully by the end of this i'll you know have the seasons in my head i have all this kind of stuff um you kind of unlock and uh you know, and all the antenna stuff, and, uh, yeah, should be good fun. Uh, the other country I have, to, I have to do this for is Kazakhstan. That's the only two countries that I really think, like, I, I really want to, like, get to that level at before I go. Other than that, it's like, you know, practice a bit of Patagonia, practice a bit of Northern Canada. But these are the two countries that I think are absolutely essential to get down. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's the introduction to the series. We'll play a bit of Russia now. Um, stay tuned because you can learn a lot while Finbar's in the call. Um, <laughs> hopefully I can teach you something as well. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into things here. So, uh, arbitrary Russia. Yeah. That's the probably best Russia map in my opinion. Could do arbitrary rural Russia as well sometimes, but it's nice to get a little bit of closer to urban center uh, coverage sometimes, so. Absolutely, and as and as is not normally the case, I will be playing no moving today, so which is more <laughs> useful for Russia. So we have a really cool round off the bat here. I right? yeah, you no doubt recognize this, but I don't. We got a blurred antenna, which is no doubt useful. It almost feels like the car is white, but I think it's actually black. Um, yeah, and we've got west a lake. Could that make sense? Okay. Um, first thought was that we. I mean, first, or oh, is there, is there ever like this? Maybe it's like over here. Because we do have some kind of a body of water, I think. And then, I don't know if there's blood antenna here, but I feel like there might be. The landscape really fits with no trees and very dead look to it. Um, so, we do have some trees. Yeah. It all checks out. It, I, think, it, I think I would go there. Yeah, uh, you're on the right body of water, like the Don River, just that mm -hmm. the coverage is on the other side of the border right. from you. So, uh, like, near Generalovsky, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, that's probably the best click. So, like, that road going north of Generalovsky kind of lines up, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, so it does. Oh, it, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm slightly off, but I blame <laughs> the new compass. So. <laughs> uh, Something new. But it should be somewhere in this area, yeah. Maybe, this maybe south of it. Yeah, maybe that, yeah. Okay, nice. Let's test that out. And, okay, it was this one instead. Oh, yeah, a bit further north, yeah. Not actually too bad there, but that's a good one to have, like, some confidence on, because I couldn't actually remember if there's blurred long antenna here at all. Um, yeah. If you guys don't know, check out on Plonkett, um Finbar's, you know, extensive Russia guide, which includes all this kind of information about the antennas, which is very useful to know. Now we have short antenna. I was kind of expecting to see long antenna here. I thought this is almost certainly Altai long antenna roads, but we have the Altai smudge, I think. Um, so I'm thinking we are maybe around Gorno Altaisk or, or maybe, is, is there coverage around these ones as well? I can't remember. Maybe not. Uh, not that far south yeah. in Kamarovo, but there is some mountain coverage in Kamarovo. Okay. So uh, and we have the B-type antenna here, just normal, I think. Would you call that normal B or is uh, that yeah. B? Yeah. yeah, we have smudge as well, so we'll be normal B. Oh yeah, normal B, of course. And we're going southeast. So I was thinking maybe like, uh, let's see, I don't know if that gets covered or not. I actually don't really know. I thought this ring kind of gets covered, so I might, yeah, I might go inside here then. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're in the right mountain range. Uh, where you are is fall coverage with white hair. Mm, yeah, I remember but... Beast has that, yeah. Uh, so we... yeah, so this is the, like, the first shore antenna. Because you were expecting it to be the long antenna road, but the short antenna goes from Gorno Altaisk to Chamal, which is south Gorno of it. Altaisk is west of you. Oh, you yeah. clicked it first. Yeah. And Chamal. Okay, not too uh, bad. There's like a white road here with short antenna. Okay, not too bad. So. We're, we're against the river, which is to our southwest, so something something like this maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Well, that's good. That's good to know. I mean, it's all like a lot of it's going to be like, guys, I can generally get the right area. A lot of it's going to be shoring up roads, understanding how exactly the roads work and just trying to get good scores like that. Um, yeah. So that's great. Okay, good. But yeah, it's a good foundation to have to be able to recognize the Altai Mountains and then use yeah. just knowledge to get the road then afterwards. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Okay, next one here. We have a cutoff antenna. I feel like that's kind of rare. It also feels blurred. It is blurred. Um, well, I think it's the 2016, 2017, and that's why it's cut off. Oh. So it's actually a black car, theoretically. Yeah. Okay. In theory. I mean, copyright could suggest it as well, in theory. Like 2017, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... It, it's a bit autumn as well. I, that doesn't really give me anything. And we can't see the ribs on the antenna, so that doesn't really give me anything either. Um, and I have to just do a bit of good old-fashioned geo-guessing here, I think, which is... Yeah, I mean, kind of a hard round to do it on. Well, hold up, let's see here, what, what area code do we have then? Not that I know any of them yet, but, uh, that's, that's a mobile one, I assume. Mobile, yeah. So was that. No, no, I ain't. Okay, so we, I guess we, I guess we won't get one then. Yeah. Yeah, we won't. Okay, well... In that case, I will go for my region guess, which I thought, we have a lot of Asian cars, but I think this is actually further west. I'm not too worried about that. Steering wheel on the right. Okay. That's interesting. Maybe I will go out further this direction. Um, ooh. I still think it's like more so out near Krasnoyarsk or something like that. Don't know if, does Abakan ever have the uh, new coverage? Uh... I think so, but the amount of trees we have to the northeast, I think, like the, uh, is a bit too much for it, but... I don't think it's Kansk, but it should probably be east of Krasnoyarsk, I think, so... I, I guess I'll just go Yakutsk as, uh, as kind of a general thought, though I'm pretty unconfident on it. Yeah, I mean, I thought of a Kemerovo just with, like, fall coverage? Uh... But the steering wheel is a little bit scary. We have two of them. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have a meta here. Yeah. Uh, orange traffic lights. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you see, like, the orange support, and then also, like, further left, there's, like, a full one. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So these. Uh, that is uh, Novosibirsk, uh, Bernal, Kamarovo. Ooh. I think. So you think it is Kemerovo then? Yeah, probably. 
Mm. No, I, I, uh, I, I generally, generally, the rule of thumb I'd normally use for the steering wheels was east of uh, Krasnoyarsk, but I guess Kemerovo's not that far. Yeah, I use east of Novosibirsk. Uh, Novosibirsk, okay, that's fair enough. Um, then let us go here. Okay, it was uh, oh. actually in... Okay, Chins. so... Yeah, okay. Maybe Western Krasnoyarsk has it, but... Uh, yeah, I feel like I haven't seen it there, but it's... I mean, Camaro was close enough to it, sure. so... <laughs> but, yeah, it's that area anyway. I'm not sure why it's in that area, but it is. Next one here, red car. Oh, we have... By the way, give a like for having Finbar, the best best Russian player on. <laughs> Guys, come on. Uh, we have a lot of uh, birch trees going on. We've got the red car. Um, the way it's kind of open as well. I'm, I'm thinking we're, I think we're probably looking at Kaz Kazan... Um, Ulyanovsk here, I guess the other option would of course be Penza, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking this side of the river over in Kazan. Uh, yeah, I like the gas a lot. Uh, I feel like with, I don't know, it's kind of a schizo meta, but the breeze like this would be closer to the road in Penza. Mm. Uh, yeah, that, that seems reasonable. It's very open, as I said, so maybe the, yeah. that perception I have comes from, partially from that. But my one concern would be the Ulyanovsk spill from Penza in the town of Inza, which was my first thought, but like now the more that I look at it, it's more Tatarstan, Kazan area, yeah. Okay, see it? Nice. Nice. That one I remember we kind of went over extensively when I first learned Russia. This looks like a grey car, but I think it should be black as, as, as before. It's blurred antenna, we're going south, southeast. Um... I road under construction. I wondered. I can't. I always forget if Bratsk is blurred or not. But I wondered about that for a moment. Um, could it be? I don't think it's the road to Venino. Um, I don't think it's anywhere on the highway. So I guess that would leave like a northern Sukhalin as as the other option. But or like a. I don't think. It, I don't think it looks like the east of Yakutsk stuff either. So now I'm just trying to remember for the life of me if Bratsk actually has that, because that, that's the feeling I get. The feeling I get is that we're actually out there. Like, I think the trees kind of fit. We do have larches, but the the vibes are not really succulinsk to me. So, yeah, I think it's maybe one of these roads that runs north of it, if I remember correctly. I'll, I'll just go there. Uh, Yeah, I think it's succulent, because Bratsk will not be blurred. But I can understand the... Uh... Vision, but we have too many larches to be a Bratska. Fair enough. I mean, uh, they, they do have larches in Bratska, though, right? Yeah, yeah, but usually, like, it's a east, like, fairly east within Bratsk, but, uh, yeah. They okay. they do exist, for sure. So I'm thinking then this is, like, Max North, Sakhalin. Uh, yeah, I thought maybe, like, uh, in between Niche and Timovskoya, but, uh, yeah, like, there somewhere, but that's kind of, like, just, yeah. Let's wait for this stuff, yeah. Or north. Yeah, so like the further north, like the less red the soil gets. Like super mm -hmm. red soil is like kind of central. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting one. Okay, uh, how, how's your time? I can probably start an X seed, but I might have to go in the middle of it depending on how long. Well, let's, so. do, let's do one more. Okay, so first thing I'm going to check here is the car, because this kind of feels like far north Russia stuff, at least somewhat. So I don't see the white car. I remember when someone leaked that to me before all the Russia stuff got discovered. I think Trabota told me <laughs> or something. That was a good day. Um, I think, so therefore I'm I'm pretty sure this is not white car. I mean, we'll be driving right. So actually maybe we, we may see it here. It's very difficult for me to say. So let me actually just region guess it. Um, it's bushfire-ish, which leads me towards Ulanuda or Yakutsk, west of Yakutsk. Um, the trees, I mean, it just kind of feels like this area to me. So that's my default here. I'm just trying to work out if there's like enough landscape, if the trees are kind of healthy enough for it to be south as well. Uh, I think that, I think the whole landscape just reminds me much more of that west stuff, especially with the flatness of it. So I'm gonna trust that we do have a little bit of white car going on. It's just kind of hard to see. Mm, it is very hard to see though. It's kind of... No, I think, I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, just like very swampy looking grass as well. Yeah, the whole, uh, yeah, the whole, yeah, that's right. It's kind of a different texture to the grass over this side, especially. 
Um, yeah. And we're going, we're going west northwest, which is like a perfect angle for like the kind of region I thought, like maybe around here or maybe even a bit further. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of confused because like the orange, like slight haze, is like more like western, but it's also like, is it just the clouds making it hazy? Because it kind of looked more eastern to me, so I'm a bit confused. And if you pan this direction, it kind of looks more east, and this one looks more west. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not really sure. Let's go for my guess, then. Okay, it was actually just... That's north. northern. Yeah, that makes sense, then, if it looks like both. <laughs> That's kind of facts, bro. Um, and I remember they, there is, like, hazy stuff there. I remember that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next one. we got the A-type antenna. I think this is uh, Orenburg. That's a factory, uh, I think, actually, not a hill. Okay, interesting. I think you would be correct. Well, that's good. Wait. I mean, Samara is possible. Yeah. Uh, like, the hmm, Paven is low key more Samara, but we're like downtown factories, so yeah, I don't really trust pavement as much. But on like a rural road, this like super, like, I don't know, it's like the very sleek grey pavement. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like it's a bit more Samara. Polish pavement or something. Yeah, I suppose. But, yeah, I think downtown, we don't trust that as much. So. I'll just go to Orenburg, just... that was my thought. Yeah. Downtown tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Maybe maybe it's trustworthy pavement, but I haven't looked at downtown that much, so. Interesting. Okay. Next one here. No. Oh, we got black car. It might not be black car. Yeah, it might be the shadow. I confuse the shadow with the black. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. Definitely looks more black than the white car we had before, but yeah, it could just be the shadow. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, well then, without that, well, we have the town name, presumably. No, that's the company. Oh, Rosaftador, yeah. I think it says. Yeah, yeah, okay, I forgot that. Um, this feels quite northerly to me. So I'm not entirely sure about that. We have... Some fireweed, I guess, maybe. Yeah, I think we do have some fireweed. Uh, we're going directly east on a really nice road here. Um, I, it's not the highway between. So I'm wondering about, like, I don't think it looks like Sid Vidkar itself. The trees are pretty northern looking, to be fair. I didn't really get um, Kanti Mansi vibes. So, yeah, I think maybe just... Some road around here, maybe like that or something, is my main thought here. But I mean, it could still be like Tomsk or Kantimansi or what? I don't know. I'll just go there. Yeah, reasonable guess. I think it's kind of a tricky one because I think this is the antenna road without the antenna. Oh, uh, makes sense. Just with perfectly like east-west angle, like driving east with like a big kilometer marker number as well. So that would kind of suggest to me it's the big main road, and perfectly east-west might uh, might make sense for uh, Kostroma just with the angle, like east of Kostroma on the white road. Uh, this road uh, might make sense with the angle, or else the Kostroma Kirov border would also make sense with the angle. So it goes up to. It goes through Kiro, yeah. and then down, and then through Perm, and then down, and then down to Chelya. Like that? It doesn't go to Yaka. Uh, oh. It goes, like, through a white road south of, like, through the Urals, like, down to Ustkatav. Ustkatav. Like, in western Chelya, Vince Panhandle is Ustkatav. Yeah. Mm. So there's a white road north of that, like, next to the yellow road. That's a great one to uh, have memorized. Does it go through Yaroslavl? Yeah. It stops at Yaros level. Oh, it just stops at Yaros level. Word. Okay. So then, so, I'll try here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The other angle that makes sense, but yeah, still Oblast Street. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, we have southeasterly mountains here, southish, southeast. Should be quite useful. Uh, we got a long antenna, which is interesting to me here. Again, I think it's black car. Yeah, it should be. Um, yeah. It kind of, I was wondering about Cheetah initially here. So Cheetah would have, I think this is the right antenna for Cheetah, theoretically. We have a Kami car. We don't really have much here, to be fair. It feels quite rural. But, hmm, it's quite cloudy as well. I'm sure that's somewhat helpful here. 
I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking cheetah. I think the angle of the mountains is wrong for like Tulun or something. Uh, I kind of consider it as well. Probably. Yeah, yeah Tulun would be different angle. Yeah. So I think. But well, I like cheetah. Yeah. Yeah, I think cheetah makes a bit of sense there. Like if we were like in the town like this or something, right? I think it would just be downtown. There's like one hill south of cheetah with the Datsan POI on top of it, like downtown cheetah. Yeah, uh, like one more zoom and then south of it. Uh, the dots on POA, that's like a hill, uh, which I think we might be looking at to our southeast, but I could be wrong about that. Mm. Uh, my, my other thought was, my first thought was Abacan on this location, but I think the antenna is wrong, and the hill I can't place in Abacan. Right, so yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, antenna wrong as well, sure, sure, sure. And I feel like Cheetah is just like generally more cloudy than its equivalents over here as well, maybe. Could be wrong yeah. about that. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that was a good that. I was glad I got that. Cheat is like nice, one you nice. can lose a lot of points on, I feel. Okay, this feels yeah. like uh, whatever this one's called. Um, let's see. Ulfka. So, I mean, the question is like, okay, we have the white car here. The question is, are we like close to. Is it better, Zolfka? Is, is the question, I guess. Um, probably. Uh -huh. Probably, actually. Let's see here. So the angle is uh, east-west. So yeah, I guess we're kind of like a big intersection. Better Zovka. Okay, what, what about that? Well, that would have to be inside the city. Okay, I don't, I don't think we're there anymore. Uh, yeah, well, I... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's a more. I think it's like just the way the trees are. And driving south, I guess, helps. Mm, uh, this one's a more, yeah. Yeah, that one's a more. Uh, it should be the yellow road because driving south and yellow very road wide road. South. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, okay. Yeah, so it's I think it's just somewhere there. Of places. <laughs> yeah, I mean it is Russia. I think Ovka is like <laughs> half of the place names are either Orsk or Ovka <laughs> or Skoya. So. Yeah. Okay, with this angle, I mean just somewhere, somewhere around this. Probably works quite nicely, just like this. This yeah. guy here. Just go for that. Okay. Okay, that's not the main road. Okay, wait. It looks like the not main road, but then I saw that we were driving south. But it's like the curve of the road that, for like the tiny bit that drives south, because the rest of the white road drives down to the border. But uh, yeah. There you go, guys. That is uh, what's going on on the uh, on on in my life for the next ten days. <laughs> Should be fun. I mean, I hope to get pretty, pretty cracked at this country, if I can. So, yep, let's see I what 10 days it. of learning can do to me. Any last words for the people, Finbar? I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. <laughs> I, I also hope that you all enjoyed this awesome video. I will see you guys in a video very soon. Thank you, Finbar, and goodbye. Bye-bye.